Let's scroll back up to the top and talk about these buttons. This is for the mobile game, and this is for the Guitar Interactive game. When you click either of these, you are brought to the mode option where you can then select either study mode or time trial mode. They differ on if they are timed or not, if they record stats, and if they provide hints. This is your dashboard while you are playing. This is your progress bar to the completion of the game. During a time trial, this represents you racing against any personal record that you've registered for the current lesson page, showing how much ahead or behind you are. This counts the number of errors. The Guitar Interactive game requires that you connect your guitar to your computer via an audio interface. If you need help, then check out the user manual. So the app asks you the question, then you play the answer on your guitar, then the app detects the note that you've played to determine if it was correct or not. Let's click the button and click study mode. So the question is asked visually as well as audibly. The display shows for what area you are supposed to provide your answer. For example, the E string, or later, the A string. It also shows hints, so in this case, the pattern and notes of the A minor pentatonic. The sequence of questions are also hints. For instance, the first block of questions follow the lick looper licks that you're already familiar with. As you progress, the hints get progressively sparse. Since this isn't timed, you can stop the game whenever you wish. All right, let's demo a little bit of the study mode of the Guitar Interactive game. So I will click Guitar Interactive and Study Mode and get my pick ready. C, A, G, A, C, A, G, A, C, and so on. There are two more levels. When you're first starting out, keep your eyes on the visual cues. As you get better, ignore those and look at your fretboard just listening to the audible cues. This area is related to the note detection algorithm. This topic is beyond the scope of this video, but there are tips in the user manual on techniques to help its accuracy. With Lick Looper and Guitar Interactive, you're using your guitar. So you're getting ear training, muscle memory, tactile feedback, and visualization all on your guitar.